Hi friends, anyone who has had red-eared turtles in an aquarium knows that plants and turtles are somewhat incompatible and it's not the plant's fault. Turtles are not like cats. Turtles are goofier than cats and use their legs, body and tail to destroy everything in their path. Sometimes it seems they're having fun unrooting plants or snapping the stems and leaving the aquarium full of bits of plants which they won't eat. Most turtle owners don't have plants in the aquarium or they tie the plants to rocks because their plants tend to disappear. But it doesn't have to be this way. In fact, it can be very useful to have plants in the aquarium or turtle pond. These plants help in keeping the water clean, eating up the nitrates produced with an eutrophication or organic waste. They compete with algae containing their excessive growth. They provide oxygen and carbon dioxide to the water. They are useful as a hiding place. They provide shade when the pond is in the sun and they are food for the bigger turtles. And also they help to decorate the pond as if it was their natural habitat. For this reason we must do our best to have plants in our aquarium or pool and help them spread generously. In this video I will show you the best plants we can use with turtles and the best strategies we can use to always have plants playing their part. If you want to know more about radiant slider turtles and how to keep them in a turtle pond please subscribe and visit my playlist called Aquarium. I hope to upload more videos on this subject and updates on the refrigerator aquarium and how we fine-tune its management. Now, before showing you the best plants for turtles, we should consider the following. First of all, we must establish these plants are aquatic plants or water plants. There is no such thing as an aquarium plant. If a plant is aquatic, it can go in an aquarium in a pond, in a tank, wherever we have conditions that these plants require. In this sense, aquatic plants are those needing a close relationship with water bodies and they can be classified in different categories. In what relates to fish and turtle ponds, we can separate them into three main categories. Floating plants, submerged rooted plants, and shoreland plants. These plants are macrophytes, that is we can see them with a naked eye. Other plants we may find here are phytoplankton which we can only see under a microscope. Shoreland plants are found on land that can suffer flooding, the floodplain. Floating plants are those that have roots that hang in the water and rooted plants have roots anchored to the bottom and can be either completely submerged or partly emerged. Second, turtles change their behavior significantly from hatching to adult. Small turtles, up to four inches long, mostly feed on animal protein and rarely eat plants. Additionally, as they are small, they don't cause much damage while swimming among plants. For this reason, small rooted plants can be quite appropriate for an aquarium with small turtles. Some people have even suggested that if the turtles have been fed pellets or Lactuca sativa lettuce since hatching, they tend to ignore water plants. However, I can't assure that it's true. For these turtles, we can use most of those plants used in aquascaping. Agagropila and Vesicularia, Ceratophyllum and Erodea, Bacopa and Echinodrus, among other species and varieties of rooted submerged plants, which are small and easy to uproot. Particular attention should be placed on duckweed, Lemna minor, a small floating plant that grows very quickly and is appreciated by turtles, together with frogbit. Limnobium and mosquito fern Asolafiliculoides produce a green carpet that can cover the whole surface of the aquarium, 
causing some issues like absence of light under the surface, low gas exchange on the water surface and clogging up of filters and surface or overflow outlets, forcing you to control its expansion, something not easy considering duckweed gets stuck to everything it touches. On the other hand, turtles of four inches or more frequently uproot plants or bite them, take a mouthful or leave the fragments floating about. An aquarium with turtles this size can't have rooted plants unless you find a way to protect them because they will destroy them accidentally or on purpose. With this size turtles and small ponds, we can only have floating plants. Among the species one can recommend for an aquarium or pond are the water hyacinth, water lettuce, Salvinia natans and frogbit. In big ponds we can add water lilies and lotus which need more space as well as submerged and emerged rooted plants and shoreland plants. However, even big plants will be eaten by the turtles and they'll die unless we have many plants in the pond and we replant regularly. And for this we need a plant hospital, a nursery or we have to buy water plants regularly. Considering how slow these plants grow and the deficiency of some nutrients in the water, we can't expect them to restore the plant community on their own. To reduce foraging on the water plants, it can be useful to offer them table vegetables since hatching, even if they don't eat them at once. Recommended vegetables are the following. Dandelion, lettuce, turnip leaves, and occasionally we can give them carrots, sushini, green beans, cantaloupe melon, and papaya. Other fruits should be only given very occasionally. We shouldn't give them nuts, seed, broccoli, cabbage, coriander, mushrooms, peas, among others, because they provide no nutrition and might be harmful. Those table vegetables that might be toxic for turtles are onions, avocados and potatoes. Many garden plants also are toxic, but they are not water plants. For example, ivy, water hemlock, garden hyacinth, rhododendrons, azaleas, bulbous plants, succulent plants, cactus, calla lilies, etc. And these plants shouldn't be near the turtle pond. Okay, I believe I've covered the main topics about the plants we can use in our turtle aquarium or pond. I hope you liked this video and if you did please remember give it a thumbs up, share it, leave your comments, subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching. Bye bye.